Hello everyone. So today I want to make a quick video and I just uh, came back home from some work and I thought I need to make a video on this topic and uh, the topic is about uh, script runner. Now, if you know me or if you follow my channel or if, if you have been following my channel, I'm sure you know that uh, I make a uh, lot of videos on uh, Jira, Script Runner, Automation, REST API, and I basically share my experiences. Now, I remember many years ago when I first started making videos on a Script Runner, my intention was that I wanted to help other Jira administrators, developers who are trying to learn or trying to customize Jira. Now, if I talk about the apps, that you need to use, that you can use, that you can potentially think of using uh, based on your situation. There are so many apps. And if you are on, especially if you are on Jira Data Center or Jira on-prem version of, uh, or on-prem version of Jira, then there are really very few apps that you need, then you definitely need to get the most out of your uh, Jira instance. And if you ask me, Scriptino, EVBI are probably the two apps that I, I mean, if you give me these two apps, then I'm happy. I mean, because if with the help of these two apps, I can uh, do almost any kind of thing that, that I need to do for my clients to solve a problem or to customize Jira. But Scriptino for Jira, or using and learning script now for Jira was, and I believe even now, it is not massively straightforward and easy. And th there are, of course, uh, a lot of reasons behind it. But I, of course, want to help. And at the same time, I want to share whatever uh, I know. Now, on my channel, of course, I have a lot of videos on uh, script now, but uh, my videos are all about okay let us do something with the script now to create an issue let us uh, look at the script to transition an issue so i talk talk about small things and i focus on solving one one very clear problem so that uh, when you watch that video when you watch that 10 minute video you learn something now i do have a service desk so if you go to my website ravisagar.in slash contact or slash support or if you go to my website and if you reach out to me I will uh, help you because I try to reply to my uh, uh, my service desk tickets because I do receive those tickets and those tickets are nothing but uh, you guys asking me questions of course uh, it is a really nice way to channelize all the requests and when I look at my uh, my tickets or all the comments that you have been sending me or all the questions that you asked me, majority of those comments are about how to do something using a script now for Jira uh, that can actually be found online if you do a Google search. For example, if you search on uh, Google, I'm talking Google, Google because Google is probably even now the best search engine but uh, just search online and you will find a lot of example sample code on my script runner uh, course i usually share my code so there is a github repository you can search for my name or you will find link in the video description whenever there is a code involved but what i really wanted to talk about in this video uh, is jira APIs. Now, the way Scriptner works is, of course, Scriptner will bring in a lot of features like behaviors and uh, it will make it very easy for you to add a condition, con conditions or list or listeners or uh, validators. And, uh, and, and, and as compared to uh, without using these uh, features of Scriptner, you can, you can do things by writing your own app, like a Java app or plugin or module, whatever you want to call it. And that is what I used to do long back, many, many, many years ago, uh, because whenever uh, I had to customize Jira, I used to modify 
velocity files or I used to write small Java plugins or I used to insert my own JavaScript somewhere. But with the help of Scriptrunner, you can do things very easily and uh, nicely and uh, Scriptrunner will make it very easy to, to also maintain those scripts. But to get the most out of Scriptrunner for Jira on-prem, and I'll talk about Jira on cloud, on-prem, on Jira data center, you, if you are thinking of learning a script now for Jira, then spend time learning Jira Java APIs. Because uh, if you ask me how to create an issue and also update the fields, how to do this, how to do that, how to uh, insert a menu item somewhere. Basically, the thing is that with the help of Scriptner, you can, I mean, Scriptner is an app that will make it very easy to write these scripts and uh, get the most out of your Jira instance, but uh, it is anyways using the Java APIs because uh, if there is a if there is some Java API, uh, then Scriptner can use it, and you can use it. You don't have to use Scriptner. You can always write your own Java plugin or uh, your Java app, but uh, Scriptner will make it very easy to do the same thing using Groovy. And Groovy, as compared to Java, is very simple, but you need to learn the, or not really learn, but you need to search the Jira Java docs. What I usually do whenever I have to do something with the uh, script now, I first search online. And in most cases, in most cases, I find answers, and you would also find answers on either uh, some blog post or on the community, or maybe someone has shared a code somewhere. And uh, if you can't really find an answer online, then search in Jira Java Docs. You need to search, I mean, it is not super com complicated. If you are trying to learn uh, script now for Jira, then the expectation is that you are going to get your hands dirty. So of course, you don't really need to have like a massive programming experience, but the expectation is that if you want to get the most out of script now for Jira, then you will eventually write scripts. Although there are some built-in functions, you can always, you know, do few things here and there, but uh, I mean, by copying, pasting the scripts, but you need to uh, get your hands dirty. You need to modify the code. You need to understand uh, not just basic groovy, but, uh, you know, you need, you need to learn how uh, to write scripts to solve a problem by, un by modifying those scripts that you found online. But with the help of, uh, or with the knowledge of, or uh, the ability to search for her, those uh, uh, Jira Java APIs, you can actually figure out what all you can do. So do that on uh, Jira Data Center. On Jira Cloud, you do have a script now for Jira, but on Cloud, you're limited by what Jira REST API has to offer. So if you're on Jira Data Center, then uh, spend some time, I mean, don't, don't really read the Java docs uh, uh, from the beginning, but search in Java Docs if you're trying to do something. And uh, Google is your friend. You can always search online, and, and in most cases, you will be taken to the Jira Java Docs. So uh, some some level of understanding is always helpful if you're able to, and let us say you, find, you found a function to do something. Because today I received one question about how to create an issue, uh, not issue, sorry, how to create a user in Jira using script now for Jira. So it is not really a script or thing. It's more about the API. If there is an API, then you can do that. Similarly, recently I worked on uh, some uh, scripts for uh, insight, for asset management. So it is not very easy to do insight stuff using uh, script now for Jira, but there are APIs that you can use, but uh, uh, you need to understand those methods. You need to understand what what arguments it will accept. And uh, if you're able to read those things, then you can get the most out of uh, script now for Jira. On cloud, as I just mentioned, you just need to focus on uh, the REST API. So if you if you can do something uh, with REST API uh, on Jira cloud, then you can also use uh, Jira or script now for Jira on cloud. So that is it. This is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope I hope I have given you some ideas and uh, some directions. On my channel, I do have uh, plenty of videos, hundreds of videos on uh, script now for Jira on server, 
or data center. Skipner for Jira on cloud. I have plenty of videos on Jira REST API. I have plenty of videos on uh, automation. So do search my channel and I'm of course you know, trying to organize my videos uh, in a better way. So always go to my website ravisagar.in and search for those videos and hopefully you will find a lot of information. Alright, that is it. That is it for today. I hope you found this video useful and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.